fellow mobile gamers in today's video i'm going to show you how i play warhammer 40,000 lost crusade on pc using mouse and keyboard before we get started make sure you guys and girls are subscribed to the channel we are so close to 2,000 subscribers i think we're like nine away like literally i just need nine of you who are not subscribed to the channel to click subscribe and with the notification bell on and we can hit that 2000 subscriber milestone make sure you guys and girls hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video if it helped you out at all i had a lot of people ask me about this so we're gonna jump into it real quick i'm gonna try and not make it too long but there's a lot to talk about so there's a bunch of different emulators you can download there's ld player 4 there's nox player there's blue stacks a bunch uh, my personal one that i'm gonna recommend right here is called ld player 4 mostly because i have an affiliate link <laughs> so if you would like to help support the channel and also download ld player 4 so that you can play your mobile games on your computer with mouse and keyboard then please click the download link down below in the comment section so what are some of the benefits to using an emulator as opposed to like your phone or something custom control so we play with a mouse and keyboard like i mentioned before but you can completely customize your hotkeys so that you can have your shoot button be a or your space bar or whatever you have control of what you want to do the next thing and this is probably my favorite we have multi instance so you have the ability to play multiple mobile games at the same time so as you see it has four windows up right now it has brawl stars going it has like clash of clans going and then you could like search the web you could be on uh, TikTok or whatever other junk that you want to do but you can have multiple different apps open at the same time which is amazing we also have the multi instance sync which means you can re-roll faster in gotcha games right here it's showing off arc nights and it's re-rolling you can also set up the macros i used to do the macro settings for when i played final fantasy 15 a new empire and i would have to like have a train troop event I would basically just set it up so that it would auto click to keep training the troops and using the speed ups instead of having to sit there and do it manually over and over again. I know another good game that this works with is like a uh, Raid Shadow Legends. All right, now let's jump into the download now. All right, so let's say you downloaded it. I'm gonna move these right over here so we can see them a little bit better. We have LD Player 4, this is the main one. The LD Multiplayer is how you set up multiple emulators at once. So if we click on this right here, as you see right here, we have one, this is my main. I can just click start to launch it and it'll open it up. We can also go over here to settings and then we can go into the advanced settings. I'll go over that briefly in a minute. But then we have right here, new and clones. So you can create a whole new emulator, which I'm gonna do right now just to show you. It takes a little bit. And then when you click on this and start this up, it'll load up just like this other one. Or you can clone a player. So if you have a game already downloaded and maybe you wanna do your rerolls or whatever, you can use the clone player and that way you don't have to re-download the game on the new emulator. So I'm gonna just kind of show you exactly what I mean. So my main one is right here. I'm gonna click start and this is gonna open it up. All right, and then we will come to our screen right here and it will show you whatever games you have downloaded and then it has some suggested games down below. Right now we have our Warhammer game. So that is why that is the only game you see. You can click it and you can move it around just like you would on your phone or your tablet. And if you wanna download other games, you'll just basically go up here to search games and then you will just go. You can type in whatever game you want or you could just search through here. You can go through like the trending searches. It has the apps. You could even download apps on here if you want, like everything. Whatever you wanna do, it's basically Google Play on your computer. Now, what I was mentioning before is we have Lost Crusade downloaded on this emulator. Right here, we clicked new. If we were to click clone, we could clone our main and then it would have the Warhammer game already installed on it. So now that we have two windows up, you can go right here to align windows and then bam, you can have two games running at once. You could have multiple accounts. You could have your farm account going on one and then your main account on another. Whatever you wanna do, it's really cool. You have a bunch of windows going on and just have crazy mayhem. I actually did this with A3 Still Alive where I had like uh, two or three accounts going at once. 
where I had like my Templar and then I made like an archer and then I made like a berserker. So while I had like one farming, I would be doing like the dailies for the archer and then I would go and then the archer would be farming and then I'd do the dailies for this one and you'd kind of rotate between the accounts. There's a lot of really cool things like that you can do. And then if you don't wanna just make one at a time, you can just literally click batch and you can click batch new and it'll create five new players. So that way you can continuously re-roll in a gotcha game that you want to, to get whatever you wanna get. Uh, one quick thing that I forgot to mention, there are two different versions. There is the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. Now, some games do not work on the 32-bit version. So what you'll do is you'll just basically come back down here and you'll download the 64-bit version. But honestly, I suggest you just download the 64-bit version. Don't even mess with the other one. You're just gonna click the 64-bit version. That way you don't have any issues in the future. Then right here in the top right corner, we have our settings. We're gonna click settings. And this is where you can adjust a lot of things. We have tablet, mobile, ultra wide, customized. We have it set to 19, 20 by 1080 so we're running in 1080p for our emulator you can downsize this if your laptop or computer doesn't have that high of a resolution you can just lower it right here then we have our cpu four cores is what's recommended you can go up higher if you want i just personally leave it on four of course i do have a pretty good computer so i don't ever have any issues but i will personally just leave it at four and then we have ram you can have it at the recommended ram if you want i have mine higher again i have a ridiculously super computer i have i spent way too much money on it <laughs> maybe i'll do a video showing off my my beast computer but it, again it's gonna highly depend on your computer but i have the ram as high as it can go recommended is completely fine too um the disk management i just leave that at automatically uh you can clear the disk cache but please note that i believe if you do this and you don't have your stuff linked to like your google play or facebook or whatever it literally deletes everything uh then we have model this is just kind of like the model of the phone or the tablet or whatever you could change this if you want but honestly again i just leave it default like you can go over here and have it samsung galaxy 10 10 plus it has like all the phones and stuff but honestly i don't mess with any of that i just keep it whatever it's at um then we have like the the uh refresh rate you can adjust this too depending on your monitor remember if your monitor cannot support like 120 frames per second then there's no need for that you might as well just keep it at 60 fps my monitor i have is a 240 refresh rate <laughs> alienware again i know i i am so overboard with my electronics it is crazy then we have something like enable vertical sync to prevent screen tearing. Do this only if you see a lot of jaggedness in your game when you're playing. But again, like I don't, you don't have to touch any of this for Warhammer. Literally none of this, just the default stuff is fine. Again, this stuff is fine. I don't touch any of this. The networking and the bridging, you don't need to mess with that. The shortcuts, you can change this if you want. Either way that you get familiar with these because this is stuff that will help you in certain games. So like shake, if you're playing a game where you needed to physically shake your phone, then you can just click F9 and it will shake the screen. Let me uh, see if I could do it right here. See, if we click F9, you'll see it shake if that's something that you need to do in a game. We have something like zoom in and zoom out. So you know when you're playing on your phone or tablet, you'll like pinch in or pinch out to zoom in or zoom out. So you just memorize this like F4 will help. You just click F4 and it will zoom into the game. Now then we have our wallpaper. You can change your wallpaper, which is pretty much just your background. But a lot of these settings I don't even mess with. I honestly keep everything how it is. I really don't go through and change everything. But that is it for today, folks. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you subscribe. We're super duper close to 2,000 subscribers. I love y'all. Stay happy. Stay safe. Peace. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she